Hello! Recently I made a video on how to fix the output of Sony Vegas' batch renderer when it has a small error. Uh, I had a couple of people ask me on that video, how do I batch render? And I also mentioned that I would probably make a video on it, so here we go, we're going to do that. Now the first thing I do is I split my video up into the individual clips. Now you'll obviously be more selective, I'm just going to grab some random spots. I hit the S key, and that will split that. The other way you can do it is to go to the area and then right click on the film strip and you can go up and do a split that way. Now, now we have our three regions. You'll do this for how many ever you need. In this case, we're going to do three. Once you have those marked out, you're going to grab this yellow marker and it snaps to your split, which is why we use split because it'll help us line up everything. And then I hit the R key, which is a region. It adds region and we're going to name that region one. The other way to add a region is, go ahead and snap to your next set, and you can see, like I said, it snaps, is you would click on the gray area here and you can insert a region, and you can just name it whatever you want. I prefer the hotkeys because they just seem to work pretty well for me, it's quick, it's easy, and I, I remember them, so we'll name that last one three. Now, once we have our regions set out, all the regions are individually between two sets of green flags now, so you have a region... A selection, which is the yellow area, and then you have a region, which is between the two green flags. Once you have your region set out and you got everything worked out and you got everything lined up, you're going to go up to Tools, go down to Scripting, and then over to Batch Renderer, which is right on Vegas 12, is right here. Now, you'll need to remember what codec you use. In my case, I use Main Concept AVC AAC, which is the MP4 codec for... Sony Vegas in Vegas 12 that is the one you probably want to use for YouTube. Go over to this. I pick up my constant bit rate one, the nice one that I showed you guys last time. Now here's the section that you're going to want to pay attention to when you do this. And also, don't forget to name your video. I've done that occasionally, but you, you can rename them later, but we'll go with Bioshock because that's what this clip has, happens to be. Render project will render the entire thing, so obviously we don't want that. Render selection will render whatever is between whatever, no, whatever, jeez, whatever is between the two yellow marks. So that would be this at this point. Render regions, which is what we want, is going to render each individual region that we marked out and designated. So now that we have render regions and you have your name, you've titled it, you've picked out your codec, you go ahead and hit OK. And it starts. Now it's going to render each individual one separately, and you'll notice that what it does is it gives your name, underscore, and then your codec that you're using. So if you look up here, it shows it partially, but if you look down here, you'll see the whole thing. So it says, okay, Bioshock underscore main concept, blah, 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 all of my settings, and then this in the brackets you have zero. And zero is your first clip, one is your second. It's just the way programming numbers work, but they left it that way. So don't get confused when you see a zero there where your one is. It's actually your one. So you could just name it zero, one, two, and that would work well, and that would have you marked off really easily. And that's it. That's all there is to batch rendering. It's fairly simple. You'll be able to leave your computer, go do something, make dinner, go to bed, whatever it is you want to do, come back, and you have all your videos sitting in a nice set. And all you got to do is rename them, and they're ready to be uploaded. You can do that so that batch rendering makes it nice so that you can leave your computer and not have to sit there and babysit the rendering process. You can do other things away from the computer. So if you go to sleep, the, whatever you want to do. Not going to worry about that. Anyhow, that is pretty much all there is to batch rendering. It is a pretty simple thing. It should help you guys out. Hopefully this helps you out getting your videos made and getting them ready again. Um, I'm going to have probably a semi-regular series about video editing and things like that when I find little tricks and tips like this that I can help you out with. I'll make a video and upload them, so if you would like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If this did help you out, go ahead and hit the like button and let me know down below in the comments. And thank you guys for watching, and have a great day, everyone.